Thank you. Hi, Aries. Let's see what's the important message for you guys. Important message for Aries. Sun, moon, rising, and non moon. Important message for Aries. Aries, I do see you work hard. Don't forget to raise harder, okay? I feel like a lot. I'm definitely feeling the energy that for some guy, I need to rest. Definitely, because... Um, you don't want to get to until you burn out and then it take longer to recover. So make sure that, you know, prioritize your well-being, your rest. As much as you love to work or love to do, um, you know, love to work hard or doing something a lot. Make sure that prioritize your sleep to rest. Energetically, that's what I'm getting. Let's see. Important message for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and not no. Beautiful. Wow. Interesting. <laughs> Look at the Aries. We have the Ten of Sword, Ten of uh, Ten of Wands. A lot of things happening for you guys. Yes, I like that we have the Ten of Sword from the beginning because it's talk about the Ten of Sword. Talk about the worst is over. So the only way is up, isn't it? And I feel like. Um, it's it's time that you can relax, time that you can take a deep breath and like, whew, that's already you already come that you overcome that already. Um I feel like you have people are that are either people watching you or I just feel like, you know, there's people who okay, this is there's two energy that I'm picking up here. There's are people that watching out for you so they care and they're supporting you. And then there's people who just watch and not doing anything. So be mindful of you know people that you um hang out with or sharing your information. Trust your gut feelings to see the difference between people who have good intention for you and people who just dare to take advantage, you know. So that's you know what I mean? But doesn't mean that you don't have people who want the best for you. It has. That's what I'm getting. You see, this cat was like, you know, try to fight off that energy. But this energy is just like looking over you and just like, okay. So make sure that, you know, see the difference. And then we have the Ten of Wands. For some of you guys, you could be thinking about relocating. Or you just want to go somewhere kind of far from where, you know, maybe you just want to do something different. I just see like a lot of thinking about you know we could be relocating changing your job or just want something different and i felt like i feel like you got pushing through a lot of things already but there's something to do with you know sometimes we don't deal with something or again go back to the example that i gave from the beginning about our health right when we work so hard and we just like ignore our body signal and then you know it's sometimes too late we kind of like burn out and then take longer to recover so don't ignore your body messages your body has so much wisdom to tell you you know um it's okay to ask for help it's okay to to have some time off for yourself so Kate, yeah. You gotta feel like for some of you guys you could be like a giver. People you, you you do things for other people, but it's hard to ask to ask for help, to ask for support. And it's something that are uh, being it's kinda like knowing that your energy, your effort, your intention is they all they all are important. And when you know that okay, you put so much energy into something, you also you can ask for something back as well you know what i mean so you know you have to find a way for energy to flow naturally you know so for example for some of you guys you could do a lot of work and you you didn't really get anything back in return in terms of like maybe you do a job that you can ask for promotion or you can literally like present yourself and like okay i can ask for more you know because other people like it's 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 kind of like about knowing your worth but at the same time standing up for yourself and you know not putting yourself not putting yourself down basically and then we have nile pinnacle beautiful this is talk about being independent spend alone time by yourself you see finally i feel more to do with 
taking your own advice. I feel like you're really good at giving advice to other people. It could be you tell people like, okay, you need to rest. You know, need to get yourself out there, get out of your comfort zone, or just, you know, do something that are recharging your battery. I feel like you could be doing that to other people, and you're really good at it. But I feel like it's time to take your own advice and like, okay, I need to listen to myself now. Like. It easier said. It's easier said than done. You know, it's easier to tell other people what's the best thing you think they, you know, would be the best course of action. But sometimes you don't follow it, and I feel like it's about follow your gut feelings, your advice. Important message for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and not no. Interesting. So Aries, I have page of one to qualify the ten of sword. I feel like something that that you were it's interesting because I feel like something to do with what you asking or what you like in in your head you were like asking about someone or some situation for the truth to be revealed. You could be you know praying or communicate with the universe, communicate with you know like. Your spirit guide, or whatever that that you are feeling, you're connected to. I feel like you getting, it's it's kind of like you know how sometimes the tower moment happen, because you know it's it's for you not to waste any more time or energy into a situation of people that are that um not have the best interest at heart. I feel like people that someone that reveal themselves to you. Revealing that true color, and you're like, okay, you know what? I this happened for me to not pay any more or giving any more energy to this situation, and then with the ten of sword, ten of sword, with the ten of one, we have now of sword. So this is a lot of mental presence going on here. Okay, it could be that sometime we try to distract it ourselves from. Our pain, our suffering, or our overthinking. So we try to do a lot to distract ourselves, and this talk about that might put a lot of like strain on your body or your energy. It's I feel like watching, watch, observe how how you feeling, observing your energy, because I feel like sometimes we losing sleep or you know it's there's a lot of shift and change going on here. I feel like. For some, it's to do with anxiety. You know, you could have fear coming up, have anxiety coming up. But I feel it has to do with the energy that shifting and changing collectively as well. You know, new like new surge, a lot of energy coming in. That's what I'm getting. And you are being asked to slow down and rest. I'm just gonna keep saying that. And then we have the six of pentacle to qualify the nine of pentacle. I do see though, like this is about giving attention your time because pinnacle talk talk about your energy, you know, time, money, whatever that is for you, your effort that you're giving to other people freely. Make sure that you know you you give it back to yourself. The love that you freely give to other people, make sure that you do that to yourself as well. Because I feel like the more we take care of ourselves, the more we have more room and more space to do that to other people. But we can't. We can't be there for other people yet if we don't be there for ourselves. So it's about you know knowing how to use your energy, how to manage your time, your energy wisely. Let me see at the bottom of the deck for Aries, we have the Ace of Sword. I love it because Ace of talk, the Ace of Sword talk about clarity and clarity come after the Ten of Sword, right? After we already experienced the worst, and I felt like. It's cleanse a lot of energy for you. At the bottom of the deck, we have seven of pentacle. Interesting. We have the seven of pentacle to qualify the ace of sword. Okay, so something that you've been waiting for. I feel I feel like there's something that you've been waiting for, and. I'm getting expected, unexpected Aries because yes, it's good to know what you want. That's that's like knowing yourself, but at the same time, don't be fixed about how it's gonna come to you. Be flexible about it. It's interesting because for some, 
I'm seeing the example of sometimes our relationship fail or it didn't work out because, you know, you are you going to meet someone who more suit or who are on the same page as you. So sometimes when we fix on the one person, I think this person going to be the love of my life. And then when it didn't work out, it, you being asked to like, okay, you know what you asking for the love of your life. Maybe this is not the person, but this is like preparing you for for the real deal or whatever it is, you know what I mean? So it could go in so many situations, but I'm just seeing that you're going to get a clarity with regard to what you are asking for and and you, the truth is being revealed basically that's what i'm getting okay anyway guys thank you so much again for your love and support i'll talk to you soon love and light